Continuing on with the theme of reviews of morphers, here we have the Legacy Power Morpher, Green and White Ranger Edition. So, here's the box. It's a very nice box. You got your Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, nice pictures of the Green and White Rangers. Of course, Legacy Power Morpher in metallic gold lettering, Green and White Ranger Edition. The place where the morpher was. Diecast warning. Again, same stuff with just the heads. Unfortunately, my Wayne Ranger's tooth is dented. But that's what you get when you buy it pretty much second hand from a local toy shop. Nice picture of the White Ranger. Nice shot of the Green Ranger. Nothing on the bottom. And on the back, the Morpher, the two coins. The story of Chame, Jason David Frank. You can pause right now if you want. And I think that's good. Now this thing is a rather peculiar case. I think every collector, including myself, got toy boners when they heard that at last year's Comic Con Bandai would be releasing a Green and White Ranger Morpher. But only 500 pieces, I believe, were made because that one was 24 karat gold plated and the coins were metallic gold as well. And Lucky Bastards, whoever went to Comic Con that last year, got it. And we were told they weren't going to make a retail version or even sell a retail version. But, I don't know, a few months later, it was announced that they would do a retail one. Now, there is a little difference. This one doesn't have the 24 karat gold or the shiny coins, but it's still a good representation. Because back in 93, they never released a toy for the Green Rangers Morpher. I mean, they released a regular Morpher, of course, they had to. But they never released one for their most popular character. I can never understand why. So, uh, here's a bit of a comparison. Legacy Power Morpher, Green and White Ranger Edition. I don't know how well you can tell, but there is actually a little bit of color difference. This one is a more metallic gold, very shiny. This one's a more uh, dull, very light gold, so. Which is actually the same color as the rest of the Morpher right here, so that's nice. Of course, it's the exact same mold. So you got your hinge. And weirdly enough, this one actually clips in tighter than this one ever did. Uh, I'll show you an example. This one likes to. This one is very floppy when you're holding it in this position. While the Green Ranger one. No wiggle at all. Very sturdy. I don't really understand how that's possible. But we're going to actually talk to about this. This same black plastic piece, with some nice lines there. The main deal is the Legacy Gold Morpher. So, it's the exact same. This one, nice silver. This one, a very dull gold, which I'm glad it's gold, but I wish it were shinier. I mean, I paid more for this one. It should be in proportionally shinier and better looking than this one. Oh, you still get the same noise. Oh, I and with accompanying LEDs. Uh, put this one aside for now. Actually, before I do that, there is a slight change in the sounds. So, this one 
you press the button, you get that noise. You get two noises, a turn on and turn off noise. With this one, you don't get a turn off noise. It's just that one simple noise. Which, in later releases of this toy, it w was fixed, so it's this noise is matched this, but it's nice to have a little bit of difference in the two morphers. So, uh, just play the sound. You don't have to hold the button down and get the theme song. To you do to make it play. You don't have to keep holding it after that. So there's that. And it's redesigned, so you have to press the button again to play the song again. While this one, you hold it and you keep playing, keep playing the song. Hmm. But it's not just the Morpher you get. You also get two coins. You get the Dragon Coin and the Tiger Coin. Now, I don't know if anybody else has this, but I cannot figure what the hell that symbol is supposed to be. I know it's a symbol on his chest, on Keeper Ranger's chest, but since in Japan he never had a morpher, this was American only, and I still don't. It, it's a weird symbol. I don't know. But of course, you have the dragon coin, and. As much as I like the weathered look, it's very good representation of the Japanese, because in Japan the powers were really old, so like the coins could be old. But honestly, I think I would have preferred the shiny metallic ones, because they look, in my opinion, they look better in the Morpher. Don't get me wrong, that still looks awesome. But I think it would look better as metallic. And of course, you got the same button here to press. Uh, give you a shot of the tiger coin. It looks neat, definitely. And for some reason, th this may just be on mine, but this key this uh, metal hole. Here is a lot tighter than on uh, this one. You see, this just rotates freely, while on the gold Ranger Morpher, it doesn't move at all. And this Tiger Coin in a Silver Morpher is actually more accurate than the Tiger Coin in here, because if you remember in the show, in his little morph sequence, Tommy is the Tiger Ranger, or White Ranger used a white colored morpher kind of like the one in the movie except this was actually pale white so the silver is more closely show accurate than the gold is which is nice I can keep the I can do that if I want but of course you can recreate that one scene where Jason put on uh, dragon armor so of course that's possible and since I have all five coins here uh, just pick Tyrannosaurus you can do that
Um, I think that about wraps up the legacy Palomorpher. Zzz, Palomorphers. Final thoughts. It's a very nice toy to have if you want a basically a prop replica from the show that plays a couple of noises, but it doesn't really play like a 40, 40 to $60 toy. Which is not a complaint from me, being as I just love the look of it, but if you want to get your money's worth, it's not quite worth it. Get it if it was on sale. So, uh, about wraps this up. This has been the Lazy Power Morpher. I've been That Weird Collector, and you've been very good looking. Bye.